What's up everybody? This is a in the beginning advanced lesson number one. We have here a Marvel Superhero Secret Wars. Now, you guys are going to run into this early when you're pressing books. Um, it's hard to see it, but this book actually has what's called a crow's foot tick in it. And what that is, is it's basically a triangular with two ticks that meets at a point. Now, what's going to happen is, remember, gloves. I already washed my hands. Time to put on gloves. What you're going to do is, it's not going to come out in a simple press. Or, I don't like to use simple press because I don't do the simple press. So what's, what's going to happen is this is probably not going to come out. Like, for instance, I've pressed this book already, and the rest of the book looks absolutely fabulous. The back of the book, the front of the book, um, I mean, the back is flawless, perfectly flat, no spine ticks, no indentations. The back of this book looks absolutely spectacular. Definitely not a 9.8 because of this top corner. And the bottom corner here with a little bit of fraying, probably close to or closer to a 9.6. But, like I said, it might be hard to see. Um, but right here, where the tip of my blue is, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to turn it. You can see where it's triangle there. And as you can tell by the rest of the book, it's perfectly flat, nice and glossy. It just looks absolutely great. But the problem is is it's not right. So you guys are going to run into this problem early. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a non-stick sheet and a regular board. Now I use a magazine board and you're going to want to stick this the magazine board as far in as you can then you're going to stick the non-stick sheet in there because we're, we are going to be using moisture. The other thing and most important thing you're going to need is a sealing tool handheld. Now these have gotten expensive and I don't know why. But what you got is two, I, mine has two temperatures. One is a low, which is about 150. The other is high, which is about 250. And that's where I like to keep mine. Uh, other people are different, but like I said, you know, I do these my way. Okay, so this has been plugged in, it's well heated, it's ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to do is, and you don't have to worry about it, as long as everything's away from it, you can see there's a gap under here. So I'm not worried about catching on fire. So basically what we're going to do is, we're going to get our bottle of just distilled water, and we're going to set it here. We're going to get a couple of makeup pads. should have had all this out already sometimes I I've been working the store all day so I haven't had a chance to put everything out even though the surface looks dirty it's actually I apologize it's actually not dirty um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take not the scrubby side we're going to take the flat side and what we're going to do is we're just going to take ours, and I always do it away from the table because uh, sometimes it'll squirt if you get it a little too wet. Now, I've got my pad wet. Now I'm going to take my other nonstick sheet here, and I'm going to lay it down. And sort of what I want to do is I want to preheat this area. So you just want to remember where it was. It's right here. Right where the flame, right where the smoke is, it's right near the bottom of that. So I want to set this down here. And then I'm going to grab my sealing tool, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure, not on the spine, but like right in front of it, about an inch in front of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go really lightly, a couple of circles. And what I'm doing is I'm sort of preheating that area, right? You just want to be very gentle. Remember, you bought the tool. You might as well let it work itself. So we're just going to do a couple little circles here. 
we're preheating the area. Now we're going to set this down. And now we're going to remove our sheet here. And now we're going to take our pad with that distilled water on it. And we're just going to rub that area with distilled water. That's all we're going to do. So now we've added some moisture to that area. Now what this is going to do, it, it's sort of like a vacuum, right? With that moisture and the heat, and this being nothing but dry heat, if you go slowly, as the moisture dries, it's going to pull out those crow's feet. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to do the same thing, and we're just going to move circular motions all the way around the area. Now the board is all the way inserted, so we're basically we're holding the board so it doesn't move away, and it will. It'll go that way. So this is all we're doing. Barely any pressure at all. We want the tool to do its job. So this is all we're doing. Then we're going to go a couple, like, small figure eights, trying to spread those out. And then we want to go flat against the spine, running the, the tip right up against the spine. And you always want to go past your working area. You never want to go back and forth. You end up getting color rubbed that way sometimes. So now we're going to remove this and we're going to see. And it's still there. You can still see it. You can't see this one, but you can still see that one. So we know where we need to work. Now, my paper is already preheated. So we're just going to add some more moisture right there. We're going to put this back. This is going to take you a minute. This is not something you want to mess around with. You want to keep going until it's gone. So this is up into the smoke. So, you know, you want to keep an eye on where your stuff is. And this is all you want to do. And eventually, it could take you two or three, maybe four times, right? But eventually, those lines are going to disappear completely. And remember, not a lot of pressure because you don't want to color rub. And that, that will really happen um, badly on modern age books. Okay, it's almost gone. It's almost completely gone. So now we're going to add a little bit of moisture to the whole area. Because it's already preheated. And now we're going to hit this whole area. And then when you go to press this, those lines won't be in there. Remember, these this crow's foot might have been in here for quite a while. So, you know, you're going to have to leave this in a cold press for four or five days to retrain the paper fiber. And then we're just going to run flat past the spine, past the area. We want to run it flat. We want to make sure that we're keeping a good, nice, sharp spine. Okay, so I think, I'm hoping that's about it. If not, it's it's gone. Unfortunately, this does break color, but it is gone. Let me see if I can get you guys a good view of it. Let me see. Oh, there we go. You can see that the actual, they're gone, but it does break color right there so now when we go to press this everything should be on the up and up it should press out really nice if there was a little hint of it 
that will come out in the press because you know we're always going to add you want to throw this away because it actually puts a little crease in the paper we don't want to reuse that so now when we go to press this um, I generally just use a magazine board but what I'm going to do with this particular book is I'm actually going to use a uh, two chaffer boards so I'm just going to remove this from the cover I'm going to open this up to the middle which I always pass the middle you don't want to burn the book so move it over so I'm going to go past the middle I mean get to the middle here which is right here find my shiny side I'm going to place this on in front of the staples and then I'm going to close the book and then I got it right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my modern age chaffer boards and I'm going to lift up this cover and push this in so it gets it all the way to the spine and I'm going to roll in my book here set it down nice and even pull back the cover the back cover I'm going to grab another modern age uh, chaffer board and I'm going to go ahead and place it all the way into the spine and then I'm going to close it and now we're ready to we're ready to add our humidity to it and we're ready to press it remember be patient do your due diligence wear gloves this has been Big John with the video with the comic book underground I almost said my old company which was the video game underground this is uh, Big John with the comic book underground and this has been in the beginning advanced lesson number one using a sealing tool and not just relying on humidity and a press because it just doesn't get everything out sometimes but for right now I'm out